How's it going guys? Nathan from Nathan's DIY Garage and today we're talking about cold air intakes and do they really help your performance or fuel economy? Alright, so for you BMW guys, we actually have a BMW E39 here that has a cold air intake. And we also have a cold air intake on my Toyota Sequoia. So, this is the most common style of cold air intake. It's not really even a cold air. Uh, a true cold air intake would go down through the fender and pull air from outside the engine compartment. Uh, but most of the time, this is what you're gonna have. This is a washable filter, and then it goes up to a hard pipe, usually with a double clamp set up like that with a flex piece on there. A lot of you guys will go ahead and put the flex piece on through and this elbow right here and replace it. Now, even though colder intake, from my experience of having tons of these, they don't really help performance at all. Uh, the only way it's going to help performance is if your factory air box or factory um, air cleaner was super dirty. Then you go to a nice clean filter. Yes, then it will help. Going from a clean air box filter to a clean cold air intake filter. If there is a, a difference in performance, it's so small it's not going to make any, any difference. But what is going to make a difference is having that cleanable filter. Once you have the cleanable filter... Uh, at that point in time, you can just clean it. You don't have to buy a new one. And on a BMW, there is a little more benefit to that also. And the benefit of that is you could actually get the stuff easier. It's a lot less of a hassle, uh, especially to get on the M54, uh, to get the stuff back in here to work on it. You have a lot of the mess is gone. Same way with the fan shroud on these, all the E39s. The fan shrouds are a pain in the ass. You could actually get a metal coolant bottle you could actually delete the fan shroud. Some guys even delete the clutch fan and then run an electric fan on the inside and then the one on the outside also, like a push and pull type electric fan setup. So, you know, most of the cars come in, if they have these on there, I don't take them off because it is nice to be able to wash the filter out. Now, if you get the really cheap AutoZone filters, this one, the wire is actually resting on it. You can see it. And uh, that's a little bit of a problem so you know if you want to to buy a good filter get a cane in um, if you want it to last for a long time you can just wash it out whenever you want if you buy the cheaper ones every couple of years you will have to replace that and then on the bigger engines this is on my Toyota Sequoia with the 4.7 um, you can see this is just a small cheap old filter and I wash it out quite a bit it's getting a little bit tattered um, this doesn't make any power difference but it does make the engine a lot louder and you can see they have these boxes on these a lot of cars have these even honda civics have these they'll have just a random box and line on the filter and that takes a lot of the noise out so this thing's already really loud through the intake and as far as induction noise with the filter on it um i want to make it louder i could take this box off um go ahead and put a hard pipe in here and then fit my couple little hoses up to the hard pipe or you know drill and tap a hole in it or whatever i want to do which a lot of induction noise you know it's a cool sound but on a tow vehicle i don't know you get on the interstate and it gets to where it's almost too much and i would like to take this off and get this stupid flex pipe off of there and upgrade all that but it might be a little bit of a noise issue especially when you're towing on the highway with it especially if you're towing for three or four or five or six hours at a time that's pretty much it. I'm not going to tell you not to buy cold air intakes. I think they are good uh, for their special purpose. And they do serve a very special purpose. Now, if you have a turbo car, um, that actually can make a little bit of gain on a turbo car. Uh, it will definitely make a lot more noise for you Audi guys. Uh, your Volkswagen 1.8 turbo stuff that the blow off valve blows off back into the intake and not to atmosphere. Uh, that will make your blow off valve a lot louder. I've had those on Audi TTs. It's a nice little upgrade for those. You can clean the filter so easily and you can hear it spool up and blow off a lot better. Uh, a lot of you turbo guys, if you don't have a, a mass airflow like this, so if you don't have a sensor in line and you have a car, I don't know what runs a map sensor anymore, uh, Ford and Chevy do on some stuff, and you could actually screw the colder intake right to the throttle body. And, you know, if I was really want to get crazy, I could do that maybe 
I could put my mass airflow right to the front of there with a little short piece of rubber and then the the filter would be all bunched up in here and probably smashing when you close the hood and you get all kinds of crazy combinations so a colder intake definitely isn't bad you're just not going to get the gains that you're hoping to get out of it a lot of you guys probably don't know this but i did a lot of fdrx7 stuff when i was younger uh 90 well in the united states 93 95 rx7 twin turbo with the wankel rotary those cars would benefit from a colder intake because the factory air boxes were so choked down and the factory exhaust is so choked down you could actually put the colder intake and open exhaust on it and the car would just be a monster uh, but for most stuff that's not the case the n54 guys i would say you know with the 135 335 535 cars the colder intake on those is a benefit because if you're out on the road and you have a problem with the way the air box is set up it's a pain in the butt to get off um, those rubber tubes going to the air box are kind of flimsy if you could replace that with hard pipes you're better off uh, hard pipes on the boost tubes so i would say in the bmw world the turbo cars that will benefit quite a bit especially the n54 and n55 and all the twin turbo stuff and the newer f series so that's it. Take it for what you guys want. That's my final conclusion after having stuff for 20 years with colder intakes on it. And that's pretty much what it is. Thanks for watching, guys. See you tomorrow.